Well, Dublin is a turn of phrase, a pint of Guinness on rainy days, a city with presence and culture and art that holds us together and makes us a part of all that befell us in the centuries of time, all wrapped up in legend and cyclical rhyme. And Dublin is a heartbeat, a line from a song, the liffy, the gargle, the right and the wrong of tearing down places for progress and gain and then destroying their memory by simply changing a name. And Dublin is O'Casey, James Joyce, Brendan Bean, bits of old decency and fade at Georgine, the chancer, the gurrier, the chap and the mot, or the sad lonely culture who knows what it's not. And Dublin is Moore Street with a bargain or two, or O'Connell Street plastered with posters, askew, Ancient, unsightly and not always clean, but blessed with a people who know what it's seen. And Dublin is the disco, and our young's brand new role, inured to the stigma of collecting the doll. It's Grafton Street's promise and Trinity class, now a fading importance, just like going to Mass. But Dublin has language and a special Ben Lang, and its ghosts made immortal with names like Bang Bang, for the city is a mirror the deeper one delves. And in self-conscious moments, we just laugh at ourselves because humour is part of our everyday style. In our manner of speaking, it just sticks out a mile. But for me, Dublin is a lady, oh, a little tattered and worn. Not everyone's darling, but then I was born to see her eternally regal and proud, hopelessly hopeful, and far ahead of the crowd. For Dublin is in coat, like a great ongoing poem. I carry it around with me. It's home.